Well, let's start with uh, adding a few documents to a collection. Its name is Customers. Now, if I check the Customers collection, I can see it includes three documents. Now let's move forward with updating the document that describes Dave. Well, the first um, step can be getting the document that describes Dave. Well, this code should return into Dave underscore document variable the document that describes Dave. Now we can manipulate this document. We can, for example, add um, a document, a smaller one, to this main document kind of um, friends, let's say, a document. Well, the key would be friends and the document itself would be um, even make it an array Shoshan is the first one Carl is the second friend and Roman is the third one Okay, now that we have updated the Dave underscore document document with um, the key friends and a value which is an array of documents, we can move forward and um, do a few more changes. Let's say we want the document that describes Dave to include information about uh, his email address, for example. Um, the email address can be, let's say, dave at gmail.com. Uh, we want to update this document with a key. Its name is tell and its value is a phone number. Voila. And now let's get back to our collection customers and call the function update on it. Specify a criteria. And specify the document. This is, in fact, the document, uh, Dave underscore document uh, old. And this new one, new document will take place, will take the place of the current um, document that describes Dave. So now if I try to call uh, db dot customers dot find in order in order to get detailed information about all documents customers collection includes we can see that we still have three documents just that the document that describes Dave looks a bit different it includes few more 
key value pairs friend, email, and tell. <laughs>